All praises be to God, our Heavenly Father, and to Jesus the Christ, our elder brother, and to the Holy Ghost, who is both our keeper and guide. To this great pastor, this illustrious pastor, this great man of integrity in the person of Reverend Willis A. Brown. God bless you. And to all these great gospel preachers, both assembled on the pulpit as well as in the audience. God bless you. To the officers, members, and friends, we do greet you in that name, which is above every name. That name where every knee must bow and every stubborn stiff necked tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father in the Lord good. We certainly do bring you greetings from New Pentecost Christian Church and Ministries where my pastor is Dr. Bernard X. James Sr. For a few moments with your prayers, go with me to the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter. And we're going to read the Verse and a few of the following verses. Isaiah, uh, the sixth chapter. And the first to a few of the following verses, these words are recorded. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple above it stood the seraphims each one had six wings with twain he covered his face with twain he covered his feet and with twain he did fly and one cried unto the other another said Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone. For I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell amongst the people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. And all the people say, Amen. 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 I want to use for a subject from whence to preach seeing God. Seeing God. Each prophet in the life of Israel brought something unique and beautiful to the life and the experiences of God's chosen people. By way of analogy, the prophet Ezekiel, with his graphic depiction of the wheel in the middle of a wheel, dealt with the departure and the soon return of the, of the glory of God to the temple. Hosea, in his very illustrative book, 
deals with the faithfulness of God in the midst of unfaithful Israel. Isaiah, whose name means Jehovah saves, is no exception. For he brings to the life of Judah a particular message. And that message is that Jehovah saves. And I think that is so applicable to today that in the midst of a society where people are seeking salvation and everything else, it's good to know that Jesus saves. That, that, that he is able to pick you up out of the muck and the miry clay and place your feet on a rock to stay. Am I in the right church here? That know that when you come to Jesus, just as you are weary, wounded, and sad, you can find in him a resting place and he sure enough will make you glad. And so Isaiah deals with the universality of God. He deals with the fact that there is coming a Savior who will redeem his people from their sins. And I need to let you know that there is salvation in none other. For there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. And that name is Jesus and him only. During the time of this text, uh, Judah was experiencing a spiritual, moral, political decline. Uzziah, who is noted to be a great king, who had brought Judah to preeminence, who had done a lot for its agricultural uh, 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 place, who had, who had done, who had advanced the military, the economic, and the political status of Judah. Now he has died. He is gone. He has passed off the scene. And here Judah is in an uproar. They now are wondering where, what will happen now. They're in a tough predicament. They are in a predicament where it seems where there is no hope. And so it is at this particular point that uh, while Isaiah is in the temple, during the temple dedication, which many scholars have said uh, was to honor King Uzziah, uh, he now sees a vision. And the vision is not of Uzziah, but is of God himself. And my brothers and my sisters, I might as well pause right here to let you know that even in the midst of your circumstances, it's a good thing to know when you can see God. Uh, and someone say, preacher, how can I see God in the midst of pain? How can I see him in the midst of circumstances? Paul put it best this way. And we know. That all things work together for the good to them that love God and all the called according to his purpose. You may not see God physically in the midst of the circumstance, but you can see his influence. You can see his glory in the outcome of the circumstance. And so it is in the year that King Uzziah died. It is in the year that King Isaiah passed on. And, and I might as well tell you that every now and then, in order for you to see God 